Hi there guys, Quirty Avro here with another Train Simulator 2017 video. We're back on the North London and Goblin lines. Uh, today I'm doing a two-parter scenario, so this will be in two uh, videos. This first part we're going to be doing, we'll be, well, as you know, I did a video already on the 172 on the old Gospel Oak to Barking section, but obviously there is that new section between Wilson Junction and, uh, and Clapham Junction that opens up the West London line part of the actual kind of route, which is really cool for the London Overground Network. Uh, this two-part scenario is done by Granowell. A very well-known person that does um, uh, scenarios on the workshop, and this two part I really wanted to do. This first part in this first in this video today, I think it's about 20 minutes long, and then the next one will be I think about maybe an hour long or whatnot. But in this first video, we're going to be driving from. Uh, we're currently, I do believe, we're at uh, Wembley sidings. This is like somewhere just near maybe Wembley Central. Uh, as you can see, you can see the Wembley Stadium arch there. Um, and I think this is kind of maybe somewhere near the Royal Mail Depot as well, possibly. Well, probably we might even pass it, I don't know. We have some 6.6s there just past it, which is pretty cool, even though they're going to the sidings. Uh, we're going to be driving from the um, from the Wembley sidings here where we are to Clapham Junction. And then in the second part, which will be another video, we'll be we'll doing the whole West London Line route, which is basically, and the North London Line technically, together uh, from Clapham Junction to Stratford and doing the whole kind of thing from Clapham Junction which I think is going to be really cool and today we're obviously going to be seeing the part from Wilson Junction to um oh cool some 350s I like that anyway let's uh let's get going while while I'm describing stuff and whatnot so we're going to obviously today we're going to check out the uh, we're going to check out the kind of section between Bullsden Junction and um, Clapham Junction as we kind of almost kind of shunt and shuttle the train to Clapham Junction to start our service, which is really really cool. Uh, the shoutouts, by the way, go to Jonathan Lawrence and Dark Viper Thirty Three. That's again Jonathan Lawrence and Dark Viper Thirty Three. The links and stuff will be down below. If you would like a shout out, use the QWERTY forms link down below where you can. Um, request a shout, out, request like a video of what scenario or something I want yeah, that I should do, uh, as well as put forward questions for the uh, Q and A series. Have the AP three seven three seven seven three seven six three seven five sound pack, of course. Got to have that. I loaded up the scenario first time and literally it was uh, it was the stock sounds and I was just uh, I was I was really really sad <laughs> but then I reloaded it back in with the sounds so we're currently as I said just outside the uh, Wembley sidings or whatnot which we just look at some 350s while, while we go through that's fine you slow down a bit here so we're the kind of Wembley part and whatnot and then um, I think we're I don't know actually where this is this should be I think this is just after Stonebridge Park I should know this I, li I live around here but I've never seen this kind of uh, this kind of shunting oh this is the you know what this is this I think this is where the sudden trains you know where the sudden trains uh, go up to Milton Keynes this is where they turn over and then go on to the West London line so that's where I think that's why I think we're headed, essentially. Which is pretty cool. We're driving a five car class three seven eight. The kind of norm of London Overground. This is obviously the dual voltage one, the uh, on the East London line it's just purely uh, third rail shoe shoe gear, no no pantographs. Coming up the Wilsden relief up. Yeah, this is yeah. So this is basically the switchover point where the sudden three seven sevens, the five car sudden three seven sevens, actually swap around and um, basically join the West Coast Main Line up to Milton Keynes. I do believe. I think that's the furthest north that the sudden services uh, that run from Selhurst. I do believe, and sometimes East Croydon, and even maybe a bit more south. I'm not too sure, but that's where they kind of head up to. It's really odd, like having a sudden service that's going like, all, like all the way north up to uh, Milton Keynes. It doesn't make sense. Like, it, like it, I guess it's a cool little service or whatever, but it's like you know, oh yeah, it's a sudden train, but it's going north. <laughs> all these wonderful tracks here at Wilson, on the approach to Wilson. Yeah, this is exactly where the sudden, um, 
the sudden uh, five car three seven sevens go. Which is cool, because uh, I don't think London Overground used these tracks, I'm pretty sure. Maybe when they're shunting uh, some extra stock to go onto the Watford DC line, maybe. But I've never seen any 378s, uh, kind of any kind of movements on this part of the... On these kind of tracks and whatnot. But there probably is. Oh yeah, some DB Shanker, some EWS... All that goodness, 66, all these kind of freight yards and stuff here. It's crazy busy here. And there's me missing. And will it? No, I'm going to have to stop. So, <laughs> there we go. AWS goes up, but I don't get any warning outside. Some trains have it. Some trains have an external... Um, some trains have an external warning system, but obviously this one doesn't, so... I'm going to have to be vigilant for that. Annoyingly, but hey. Take some screenshots and whatnot. It's a beautiful day here in Train Sim. Driving an alright train. Not one, not one of my favourites, but like, you know, it's, it's a decent train. Does the job these, uh... Uh, Electro stars, but they're they are a bit whiny, aren't they? All right, stopping, and I think we are now at Wilson Junction. Yeah, there we go. Flying on the other under uh, on the underpass here. Very nice. Yeah, this is exactly where the sudden three seven sevens go. Like I would sometimes uh, be on this, uh, there is a footpath bridge here that actually isn't simulated in this map, but there is a footpath bridge that you can stand and actually like watch this kind of like, you can watch the West Coast Mainline uh, trains which run on uh, these four tracks here. And then this is where the southern trains go. And then this is like a, I think this is like a recycling plant, plant here I do believe. And then there's like freight trains that bring in like scrap metal and whatnot. I think it's like a, a recycling refrigerator plant, I think. And also here's like car giant as well. Uh, let's do another one. There we go. Oh, that's that's gorgeous. But to say this train in the sun looks pretty good. Oh, and there's some 350s, and that's obviously Laurel's uh, depot there, Wilson Junction depot. But we now are going to soon connect up to the um, to the west to the west London line, and then I think we're now in this section between Wilson Junction and Shepherd's Bush, and between there we actually have to change from Pantograph to Shoe Gear. Which would be interesting. I think I see. I've seen drivers actually. Well, on this part of the stretch, they keep the train moving. I think. I'm pretty sure. I think maybe one way they stop, and maybe the other way they. I think I definitely know on the way back, um, when they're changing to pantograph, they lift up the shoe gear and just put up the pantograph while the train is moving. Oh, that's cool. And that's obviously the way that the normal London Overground trains would go into Wilson Junction. But we are special today, going over the Union Canal, I do believe, and then over the GWR Great Western Main Lines. And then these are now like Hitachi depots, used to be the uh, Eurostar depots, but now they're the Hitachi ones. And this is where like you would get Eurostar trains actually coming. They would actually ride along the West London lines and like go through Olympi Kensington Olympia and whatnot and actually go this is this was actually their siding that they would actually go in and go into the depot and whatnot. Which is kind of cool. Cool some cool stuff to know. Now, this is basically you can see here we've gotten the third rail, so this is the area that will do the power change. Now I'm not sure how we do this on the running train um, so I'm gonna guess we keep it in um, we keep it in like or, uh, we have no power or brake then we put it into neutral 
and then we shall lower the pantograph. So the pantograph has been lowered, and if my FPS can just uh, pantograph is lowered, and now we do shoe down. Where's shoe shoe down? There we go. And I think set max speed to 25 and press Y on the keyboard to complete power. Tr really? Uh, why? Oh, there we go. No, that went to overhead. What the hell? No, no, wrong one. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we're on third rail. And now if I go... Is that is that right? Yeah, there we go. We're on third rail. I think I actually was on third rail in the beginning, but then that thing when it said Y, I didn't have to press Y because I did it manually in the cab anyway without pressing Y. That's fine. <laughs> Switching dual voltage mode, uh, dual voltage mode trains would quite yeah for. Not gonna lie, this is actually not too bad. Not bad. Uh. Zoom in a bit more. Whoa, is this... Interesting modelling around here. This is, looks nothing like... This looks nothing like Shepherd's Bush. Here's, here would be West... Oh, there's Westfield. Okay, that's fine. This is not here anymore, What's what you see here. This is like all like new. This is like the... Ex oh, yep, they've actually done a bit of the extension. You have the new Westfield that's being like uh, added on, which is cool. And now we're coming into Shepherd's Bush. Obviously, we're not stopping because we're just shunting the train to uh, Clap uh, Clapham Junction. But I'm going to slow down a little bit because... I, you know what? Literally, this scared me so much. I actually thought this was on my track. I'm not going to lie. Past Shepherd's Bush Station. As we continue forward. Oh, the lighting on this engine is just uh, <laughs> something not to be desired. But, you know, hey, what can you do? Train some world's lighting is a lot better. Now, oh, yes, Kensington Olympia. Once upon a time, I actually used to live around here. What is this? Oh, it's a six-six. That's in the in the middle platform. This yeah, this middle platform is kind of used for freight and whatnot going through. If it doesn't want to disturb a passenger service and whatnot, which is cool. And then this is actually one of the stations. Uh, like when Eurostar used to be terminating at London Waterloo, when I actually saw Eurostar pass through here on the middle platform. Very cool indeed. And then obviously district line on the right here only on weekends and public holidays that it runs I think or like when Olymp oh no actually no I don't think it runs on public holidays but it's only weekends it runs and on days of like Olympia events I do believe but it's really good that this um, it's really good that this uh, portion of the line now is on uh, on the route. Whoa, that's that's pretty frequent there. Uh, literally, a, there was a sudden train at Shepherd's Bush. They're not that frequent. But hey, you know, maybe sudden. <laughs> sudden <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, these are interesting assets. I'm guessing this is, yeah, this is the Olympia, which is not modelled. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> interesting. West Brompton, where you'd have the... Let's actually go outside here. Where you have the district line here. Now, is this red? No, it's it's orange. Okay. 
Because I'm pretty sure if um, if Dovetail Games have the licensing from TFL to do the uh, to do the underground, I mean for the overground, then I'm pretty sure they'll have the licensing to do like underground stuff as well. Chelsea FC Stadium here at Fulham. It was a shame that that Olympia part wasn't modelled properly because that's really cool when you go underneath it. You're pretty much going underneath the whole Olympia... Um, uh, no, it's the Earl's Court thing, Exhibition Centre thing. No, not the Olympia. Olympia is at Olympia. But it's really cool. It's like you go underneath, you can see the, like some of the car parks and stuff to the to the left. The newest station on the West London line... Imperial Wharf pretty much serves up these there's some pretty fancy flats here I'm not gonna lie and now shortly we will be going over the River Thames and I think that's why we actually had to slow down here a bit we had to actually going over the river can't do it that fast. Oh yes. And here is Imperial Wharf Pier. Oh that looks fantastic of crossing the river, I'm not gonna lie. And the river turns black just uh, so, uh, just west of here. <laughs> but now, this should be pretty much familiar territory because I do believe um, this part of the line is modelled somewhat to some points about here. Is where obviously the... where some scenarios start off in this kind of point where they, they, they want to do... Um, like some sudden scenarios that go down to Selhurst and East Croydon and start from this point to simulate the services that come from Milton Keys. So now you can actually do a service all the way up to where we started with the Wembley siding. So I think there is a scenario that I might actually look into doing in the future at some point, which actually does a kind of sudden 3775 car um, from Clapham Junction to up there to Wembley. So far, so good. Part two should be the, the fun part where we're driving all the way from Clapham Junction all the way up to Stratford. And that'll be a nice, lengthy stopping service. And I hope you guys will be... Uh, hope you'll enjoy that. Because I haven't actually done a video on the... Oh, wow. That pantograph is sticking up high, isn't it? I haven't actually done a video on the... Uh, um, North London lines in quite some time, so it's, it'll be a nice refresher to do, especially because we will be starting from a different destination instead of starting from Richmond. The only kind of sad thing is I don't have obviously the free one free. I have the Armstrong Powerhouse free one free, but because uh, it's not compatible with scenarios that are made for it for this line, I can't do free one free kind of stuff unless like. There's specifically made scenarios with the Armstrong Powerhouse 313. Which people, if anyone wants to make and uh, request it as a thing for me to do as a video, then feel free. That is denied, so I'm just going to stop here. That's fine. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Even though that's not right, I don't think Pantographed... 378s go on the East London line, but whatever. But we're here, back in busy Clapham Junction. All the Southwest trains in sudden action. No longer Southwest trains from August, but hey. But we have the East London line to react to, which is pretty cool. Oh, thank you. Got the green light to get into the station. The FPS is going to tank so heavy now once we turn around this corner, but hopefully you can maintain it well. I 
It's always fun as well when you're departing Clapham Junction, when you have an East London line and a West London line departing at the same time. It's really cool. There's one platform for the East London line, one platform for the West London line. But um, there, there is a platform on the very, very right, which is not used. But I thought that, that they will open that one up to kind of like increase capacity for like the West London line. And even maybe as well, at, like maybe put like, say, yeah, here, this there is this platform here to the right, which isn't used and it's just overgrown. It would have been cool if they maybe updated that platform, opened it up, put that for the West um, London line and then use this current one for the East London line because I guess the East London line has more trains than the West uh, London line per hour so I guess it would help with the turnaround but obviously that's something they didn't want to do so this platform here which is the true platform zero because uh, I remember when they opened up the East London line platform they actually called uh, this platform I think platform zero so this is now the new platform zero if it ever gets built or updated or whatnot. That's the East London line and the West London line. As we nicely. There we go. Oh, perfect. All good here. Do one final little snapshot there. And I do believe this is the uh, end of operations for this scenario. This is part one of our journey. We had to shunt the train to Clapham Junction. The next part, which would be the nice lengthy video with the stopping service from here, Clapham Junction, all the way to Stratford on the North London line, which I hope you guys will be able to join me whenever I do that. I promise that that one will be done soon. Uh, not like the Western Main Lines Part 2 one I haven't done yet, and I will get back to that one. I still have it in mind. It will be done at some point, but this one should be sooner than later. <laughs> well driven, in Part 2 you'll take this train to Stratford as the 2L54 departing at 6.45. Yes. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Kind of just like a nice little like run, shunting kind of run to Clapham Junction. Nothing to, there's no stopping or anything in this one. So I hope you enjoy that little kind of beginner tour there of the, uh, of, the, of the West London line. But then we'll see it later on once we stop at each station in the uh, next part two scenario. I'll leave the scenario link for this part one down below. And then the part two one will be down below in the video once I do that. Uh, the shouts for this video again go to Jonathan Lawrence and Dark Viper 33 That's again... Jonathan Lawrence and Dark Viper 33. Their links and stuff will be down below. Show them some love. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a lovely day. We ain't never given up